I'm on the Derby Road in Nottingham, just walking past the infamous Hand and Heart. If you fancy drinking in a cave, then maybe the Hand and Heart is the place to be. Inside the pub's cut into Nottingham's famous Bunter Sandstone. But it's not the pub I'm here to see today. This just looks like an ordinary office block, commonplace in most cities in the UK. And it is. A short walk from the main drag of the busy Derby Road leads you to an amenity that's not so obvious from the pavement. Along with its historical value, it still has a value with pedestrians of today. Well, it might look like a car park, but believe me, it's not your typical car park. This is the main entrance to the park tunnel. Let's backtrack and take a look from above. back if we come around the corner here onto Upper College Street we make the ascent to the brow to the top of the tunnel opening a lot of Nottingham is built on bunter sandstone I'm walking above it right now I'm surrounded by a motley mix of modern buildings and a plethora of those from a bygone era. Here on Newcastle Drive you get to appreciate how high you are and how far down the tunnel is. It was designed by Thomas Hine, a famous Nottingham architect and built in 1855. Originally it was the main entrance to the park estate. Traffic at the time would have been mainly pedestrians or horse-drawn carriages, but in fact it was rarely used by the carriages of the day. The 1 in 12 incline was too steep for the horses to climb out of. Let's take a closer look. You don't appreciate the enormity of this vast cavernous opening until you see it in person. Every one of these bricks would have been carried up to the building area and laid by hand. As you wind down the staircase by this disheveled brickwork, you get the feel of what it would have been like in Victorian times. Dark, dismal and dingy, the Victorian times were not the nicest of places to be if you were working class. The living conditions were poor, 
the working hours were long and for some the basic needs of survival such as food were hard to come by. The sponge-like sandstone rock may be soft to the touch and easily crumbled, but when compacted in a mass, this bedrock is very, very strong and load-bearing. And of course in Victorian times all of this would have been cut out by hand with picks and shovels. It's fascinating when you imagine the navvies of days gone by chopping and hacking away long before the time of PPE and health and safety and all of this behind me would have been cut out. No mechanical diggers in those days. As we finish our journey and leave this leaved lined footpath this is where old meets new. Who would have thought it? You emerge from a tunnel in the middle of what looks like a modern day housing estate. <laughs> <laughs>